what is up welcome back if you are new to my channel welcome today guys I am going to be doing my nightly moisturizing routine I try to moisturize my hair every other night I try not to do it every night because I get products build up really bad that way so I try to like spread it out but I'm gonna be honest I've been slacking the last couple of nights and my hair is a little dry and one of the keys that I can tell you if you want your hair to grow you have to keep it moisturized so I've been slacking and now I am about to uh, get back to it I have been trying out a lot of conditioners and I came across a conditioner that I've actually was interested in trying when I first went natural and started taking care of my hair but I was just I don't know why I never tried it but I bought it recently I am going to be using the main and tail conditioner I believe this is the original I know they have a herb another conditioner I really love that conditioner as well I think this container was about six dollars at Target and it's seven dollars at King Supers I think I don't remember but I think it's still a great price for how much you get inside of the container now I go through a lot of conditioner um, but it still doesn't bother me this is this big old bottle is perfectly fine I always thought when I first go went natural and I was like um, looking at a lot of different hair products I thought that this was the golden product to help your hair grow like I don't know where I got that from I'm not sure but I really did think that this main and tail conditioner was what all I needed for my hair to grow all right so I'm going to start by adding the conditioner to my hair it's a really light conditioner it smells like a conditioner now I am going to seal in that conditioner with an oil I have been slowly trying to find what oils work for me um, coconut oil is one of the oils that I've tried and it does not do anything for my hair I actually don't like putting coconut oil on my hair um, so in this container I have grapeseed oil jojoba oil and it's a the Myel organics the green what is that one called it's a mint and rosemary I think um, but anyways I put a couple drops of that I know that's supposed to stimulate your scalp but I just put it in here anyway one of my favorite oils to use is jojoba oil like I mean not jojoba oil argan oil is one of my favorite oils to use now I am going to apply it to my hair Ooh. now after adding the oil my hair feels so buttery soft I just love it so yes I highly recommend when you guys do your nightly when you do a nightly moisturizer um, routine that you always seal your hair with an oil and then now I'm just going to braid my hair up because I am trying to stretch it out and I feel like braids really help keep um, lock in the moisture even more but my hair feels so nice and soft and I'm just loving it and that is all that I'm going to do for my nightly moisturizing routine I have to keep my hair wet I highly recommend though if you are trying to find the right moisturizer for your hair and you want to try to find a conditioner that will work go with the cheaper products that's like less than ten dollars there's so many actually all of the conditioners that I've ever bought have been ten dollars or less I don't think I've ever spent over ten dollars on a conditioner I the only way I found products that worked is I've gone through a lot of products and it, it, it's kind of hard because I know that a lot of natural hair products are like really misses they're not even gonna hit not even close to hitting um, but that's the only way you're gonna find what products work for your hair is trial and error and that's what I've been doing um, and then I came across this uh, conditioner and I figured hey why not just give it a try and see what it does for my hair so I've been working so hard on trying to change my mindset um, when it comes to life 
I have been um, working really hard on having a different mindset, thinking in a different way, and just becoming a better person all the way around. And I've been listening to so many people talk about, you know, how to become better, how to do better, how to become wealthy, how to, you know, just prosper in life. And that's something that I've really been focusing on. I'm trying to really get back focused on the things that I really enjoy doing because for months I've been distracted and I have not been doing the things that I really wanted to because I've just been dealing with a lot. And now I'm finally getting back um, to uh, working on myself. If you're finding yourself to be surrounded by people that don't make you feel good or people that you know really take a lot out of you emotionally they drain you I find that it's just best if you take a step back from them and really focus on yourself really think about your dreams your goals and the things that you want to accomplish and really focus on those things because I've noticed that there are a lot of mentally unstable people out there. Like, there's a lot of mind-numbing, um, draining people in the world, and they don't care about anybody but themselves. <laughs> so my goal is pretty much to get back onto a better, get back to a better mind state, and really working towards improving my life, and not really caring about other people and what they have going on really working on spending a lot of time alone and just trying to think in a more positive way and to really work on my goals in life one of the people that I've been listening to consistently like every single day was Les Brown I've been listening to his motivational speeches and I love him like Les Brown is amazing and he's inspired my thought of taking control of my life and really making positive changes to really improve my life so there's a lot of motivational speeches out speakers a lot of motivational speakers out there that you can listen to on YouTube for free and there's a lot of people you can listen to that are going to help you like become better think better and be more positive so if you find yourself in a rut just sit step back take a step back Evaluate who is around you, evaluate what you want in life, evaluate your goals, write them down, and slowly, day by day, just work on improving certain things. If that means taking, cutting people, certain people off, then do so. Because your mental health is important, okay? Work on the mental, your mental, just work on it. I know a lot of people don't like to be alone, but spend time alone okay it will be very beneficial if you spend time alone and really focus on connecting with yourself again and doing what's right for you no matter what anybody thinks about it And there's that. Now I know on some parts I used hella conditioner. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, like sometimes I felt like it wasn't enough and then I added more and then it was just like shit This is way too much conditioner, but nonetheless um, This is really what I do when I do my nightly moisturizing routine Having an oil is very very essential. It seals in the moisture so Whenever you want to do this, you have a moisturizer, make sure you're following it up with an oil and then just twist your hair or braid it out. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I normally would just take my hair out and put it in a ponytail um, just because that routine was what I do at night when I moisturize my hair. Um, but I want to see what results I can get at a braid out from this conditioner so I'm just going to take my braids down and show you guys the results um, if you are planning on because you can actually do a braid out as well um, just make sure if you do want to do a braid out that you make you let your hair dry all the way because that will affect your braid out I don't really like taking braids down my hair feels so nice and soft Ooh, I like it. And there it goes. So my hair is nice and soft. I really love the way my hair feels. So I'm really actually glad that I tried this conditioner out. So one of these braids were actually still wet and it's because of the thickness of it. I'm almost done. Um, that's another reason why I don't like doing braid outs is because it takes forever to take the braids out. And this braid still wasn't even dry either. <laughs> Great! And it's in the front. But this is what my hair looks like after taking the braids down. I would just have to uh, style it a little bit. Do you guys like it? Um, let me know if you guys have tried the mane and tail conditioner and how you guys like it. I think that I really do like it. It's a great cleansing conditioner as well. And that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. Let's close that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other videos you guys would like me to see, any other hair products you guys would like me to try out. I do have a lot of hair products that I'm going to be trying out the next couple of weeks, so you guys will see what I have. That is going to conclude this video. Thank you guys. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscription down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until next time, always remember to smile and stay positive no matter what you're going through. Try to always look on the bright side. Try not to dip into that negative thought process. Just try to just stay above it and stay in the positive. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.